so guys now in this video let's see a time series data okay so when you have a data uh, of a dates okay for example let me just show you quickly so we have this total dates dot csv okay so this is a total date uh, regarding coronavirus okay so uh, we have the total date of the world data also we have total dates of country wise uh, of this month that is july okay july 2020 let me just quickly open this in uh, microsoft excel so that you can understand it better okay so yeah you can see we have uh, these dates over here and we have the world total dates uh, also we have the country wise data we actually don't need that for now we will work with or uh, with the world data so yeah we have these dates and we have these uh, values right so in case if you wanna perform certain task on some which has uh, dates in that case this time series date uh, uh, plot will be really helpful for you so let's just uh, quickly import matplotlib so uh, i mean pyplot so from matplotlib import pyplot as plt and also we want to import dates from matplotlib so from matplotlib import date okay dates actually and maybe we will import that as dt okay and now we also need pandas but not for now we will first see how to uh, create a basic uh, time series data plot okay and then we will see how to uh, perform certain tasks on that particular csv file right so yeah so let's just quickly uh, write some dates so i i have these values in my notepad so i'll just quickly grab this thing from here and paste it over here okay so this will maybe yeah this these are the problem in Jupyter notebook so I manually need to put a tab over here so yeah we have these dates uh, now right and let's create a y values y axis values so yeah y axis values can be like anything so I'll just quickly uh, write 0 to 9 values so 0 comma 1 comma I'll come back after writing all this so you can clearly see I wrote the dates as well as the y y axis values so yeah now let's just plot uh, the time series data plot right so to create this time series data plot you have to write plt dot uh, plot date okay so plt dot plot underscore date and inside the parenthesis we obviously need to pass the dates so dates comma y okay so x axis values and the y axis values okay and obviously we can set any line style or marker so by default it's i guess a uh, dot marker equals to dot so yeah let's run it okay there is an error no module name met uh, well i guess uh, there is a spelling mistake yeah now if i run it so yeah you can see the date time is not defined that is because of we didn't import the date time module so we also need to import the date time module okay so import date time okay and in case if you don't know this date time module you can just quickly uh, open my youtube channel i have a youtube channel so i already uploaded this thing uh, like seven hours ago so the date time module uh, it is a 28 minutes long video so you will get uh, all the basic things about the date time module with some uh, some you know some external files okay and yeah so now let's run this cell so you can see uh, this plot is now created and by default the marker marker is actually dot and you can clearly see that the dates are actually overriding right so let's just use some uh, you know the some styles so plt dot uh, style dot use and then we can also use a seaborn style so that will automatically uh, make this plot a little bit bigger and as well as it will create those grids so that you can understand properly so let's just write over here c bone okay and now if i run it so you can see now uh we have this plot still the plot is really small and the dates are still overriding right so we can also resize the plot by writing some methods so plt dot rc per params and then we need to write a box bracket and then quotation then inside the quotation we have to write figure uh, dot fig size okay now you can write any size over here so i'll just put 20 comma 20 okay now if i run it so you can see now it looks bigger and now it is uh you know containing the whole width of the screen and the dates are now looking good right you can understand the dates properly and and you can clearly see the dates are actually in uh, sorry the points are actually marker 
uh, equals to dot you can obviously change that thing or you can also remove that thing by lighting marker equals to none okay and you can also change the line styles uh, you can clearly see there is no line style so you can just write over here uh, line style is equals to uh, solid it will make a solid line so now if i run it so you can see it is a solid line and obviously you can just write markers uh, equals to none okay it should be marker yeah now if i run it so now you can see there is no marker over here i'll just put it by default uh, the default one that is the dot one okay and now if i run it yeah now you can see this is the default one and yeah you can also change these styles over here or the string formatting in case if you uh yeah i already told you that uh if you want to learn more about this date time module you can quickly go into my youtube channel and from there you can just learn that thing okay and yeah so let's just quickly change the style of these dates okay so let's just make it some you know some curvy or some uh, reclined style so to change the figure of the dates you just need to write plt dot gcf okay and then a parenthesis because this is a method and then dot then auto fmt underscore x date okay and then put a parenthesis again because this is also a method so now if i run it you can see there is no error and now you can see this is now a reclined later format okay so this is now looking good and also uh, you can clearly see this is a format like uh, default format that is year hyphen month then hyphen at the date okay you can obviously change the string format as well by using strf time or strp time okay you can just quickly go into the date time module and learn about that so yeah so let's use that thing as well right so for example i want to change it with um, the month then the date and then the year okay so for that i just need to write over here so let's just make a variable date uh, date underscore formatter okay and that will be equals to we actually make it uh, the matplotlib dates uh, short form is dt so i'll just quickly copy that thing from here and paste it over here then we just need to write over here date formatter okay so that means now we can change the formats so let's just quickly write over here the month so that means percentage b then uh, percentage small d and then i'll just put a comma then we want the year so percentage capital y so capital b means it will uh, write the total month name that means G june means j u n e july means j e u l y but if you write small letter b or lowercase b that means it will uh, only write the first three character of every month that means june will be equals to j e u n july will be equals to j e u l okay and similarly if you write capital y that means it will write the total year 2020 okay but if you write small y it will write only the last two digits that means only 20 okay and yeah but now we actually change the format inside this variable now we have to use that variable as uh, x-axis right so we want to change the x-axis format so for that we also have uh, mm, this gca uh, we have this gcf method to change the figure we have this gca method to change the axis so plt dot gca and then the well, obviously parenthesis because this is a method and uh, then x axis dot set underscore major underscore formatter this is a really long method and inside this uh, parenthesis we have to pass that variable as an argument so let's just quickly copy this our variable from there and paste it over here okay now we also need to write plt dot show to show the plot so now if i run it okay so you can clearly see now the date format is actually changed let me just quickly zoom it a bit so you can see the date format is changed now it is a uh, month then the date and then a comma then the year which we choose over here month then date then comma then the year okay so yeah in this way you can uh, quickly make a time series plot now let's see how to use the external file data so we have this data over here which has this 11 actually the 10 data or 10 rows uh, which contains dates and worldwide death regarding coronavirus right
So to import that CSV file, we also have the CSV module, but for now I'll just use the pandas. So if you don't know pandas again, you can just quickly open my Refinder website, definer.com. Click on this courses option. It will uh, open this kind of page. And we have this Python pandas library tutorial, which is one hour, 12 minutes long. And from there, you can obviously learn that uh, Python pandas module. Okay. So let's just import that thing. So import pandas as pd okay now i'll just quickly okay let's do one thing i'll just make a new uh cell for that okay so i'll do it over here so now we have this uh, pandas over here and i'll, I'll also copy uh, these two lines from there so that we also get the stylings and the resizing methods so yeah now let's just quickly open that particular csv file right so i'll just make a um, variable called data that will be equals to pd dot read underscore csv okay and now inside the parenthesis we have to pass the data i mean the you know the file name so the file name is actually total underscore dates dot csv you have to write total things so total underscore dates uh, dot csv okay and now we have this uh, date column and this world column right so let's just quickly make a variable call month underscore date okay and that will be containing the data and then the box bracket we have this column name that is date right so let's just check it again so yeah we have this column name called date so now this month date will contain all the dates from that particular column right and also we need the world uh, underscore data and that will be containing the data in the box bracket we have this world column right so w is in capital so let's just write that thing world okay now yeah we have the uh, date column inside the month date variable and we have the world uh, date numbers inside the world data variable okay now let's uh, now let's just quickly make this plot so i'll just quickly copy uh, the line from here yeah, I'll just quickly copy these two lines from there and paste it over here. Now let's just change the variable names only. So this date should be month date and world data will uh, replace Y. Okay, now if I run it, uh, yeah, you can see we have these dates over here. So 7, 1, 2020, 20, then 7, 2 till 7, 10. That means uh, the total first 10 dates of July okay and we have the total date graph over here so in the first day of July the date was around uh, 51 I mean 510k and on a 10th day of July the date was around I guess 57k so let's just quickly check that out yeah you can see on the first day it is actually uh, 511k and on the 10th July we have this 554k dates right so in this way you can make a time series plot okay